Thank you again. It's nice to be here again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm fully aware that it's late and we are hungry, so I will keep this presentation very short. But first, I, I would like to tell you what, what is Waskunet, because I think that many of you don't know. Uh, it's an official working group on European Society for Vascular Surgery. And it's a collaboration of predominantly European vascular registrars. And at the moment, we have uh, the following contributing countries, Australia, Denmark, Italy, Finland, Hungary, New Zealand, Norway, Sweden, Switzerland, and UK. And we are now in the process of collecting next data set, and Germ Germany will participate this one. Uh, so we combine data of national vascular registries in order to uh, improve the quality of vascular surgery. And we have collected data on carotid surgery, uh, data on aneurysm repair, and infra-inguinal surgery for uh, PAOD. And today's question is, are there variations in clinical practice in carotid surgery between the countries? And if there is, we want to know how guidelines of the treatment of uh, CEA stenosis are implemented and what is the effectiveness of carotid surgery in each country. And to try to answer these questions, we have analyzed data of 53,000 uh, carotid procedures, which means 48,000 surgery and 4,600 uh, standings. And here we can see the division of the procedures and uh, most of the procedures comes from Italy, 21,000, and UK, 16,000. But we can see that we also, Finland has almost 1,000 procedures in this database. And uh, uh, the first question, is there variation? Yes, there is variation in uh, pra practice, how we perform carotid surgery. And here we can see indications. Uh, in Denmark, they don't treat asymptomatic patients at all, compared to Italy, where almost 70% of the patients were asymptomatic. And in Hungary, more than 40%. We in Finland performed surgery to asymptomatic patients. The proportion was about 15. And uh, during that period, we did not have many stentings in the database. And it would be very, very, and it will be very interesting to see how this has changed after 2009. And again, we're actually, oh, sorry. Oh. We had, ah. Again, we can see that it varies between 0% to, this is actually 20, a little bit more than 20% in Italy. And then we have implemented the practice to the year European Society guidelines. And of course, if you only treat symptomatic patients and tight stenosis, it's easy to, to have 100% according to guidelines. But then when you treat a lot of asymptomatic patients, and if you, for example, treat a lot of old female patients, then you can get a lot of patients with not recommending according to guidelines. Uh, to try to evaluate the effectiveness of carotid surgery, we d divided the patients to three categories according to uh, stenosis, according to symptoms, and according to gender. We have highly effective, moderately effective, and not effective. And I can say that this is not effective, and it can even be harmful, this red one. And again, we can see quite a big variation between 
countries. And of course, again, we can say that if we operate 100 patients and they all are tight stenosis and symptomatic, the practice is more effective compared to one where there is a lot of asymptomatic patients and also uh, old female patients. But of course, this just tells us that how effective your surgery is. But it does not tell do you operate right patients because if you have very, very tight indications, you then may uh, not operate patients that you should operate. But With me, I have uh, 200 slides in my computer, but now I'm going to stop here. Thank you very, very much. And in the end, I would like to welcome uh, Russian and St. Petersburg to Vascunet Registry, Poland, and everybody who is here. Thank you. Thank you very much for the invitation. Thank uh, you. I Any question? Yeah, yeah. Question. Uh, how would you um, explain those differences? Is it um, uh, reimbursement driven, do you think? Yeah, that's a good question. It, it may be one explanation. It, it's a good suggestion. But uh, are there a difference in reimbursement um, of the procedure and uh, in, according to indication with, in different countries? There certainly is. There certainly is. For example, in nude countries like here in Finland or in Denmark, we don't get paid per patient. It's uh, the same salary. All right. All right. Even I operate 100 patients compared to zero. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much Thank you. for a very nice presentation. It's very important to have a good uh, statistic. Um, 